Tottenham Hotspur get their international champions. Juventus. Spurs include the likes of Deli Alli. Son in his kind of area, Human Son for Spurs, and can't sneak it in, and that was nearly the open. Yeah, not to give himself up too early, the ball goes to Parrott, now you're waiting, perhaps he could have played it a touch later to try and commit two of those defenders, but Son works the angle, but as he goes to that left-hand side, very difficult, brilliant play by Skip in terms of hunting down the Tweedy, that's a great start for that. Georgiou flicks it in, Son is there, and it's another opportunity at the near post, this was more difficult for the South Korean. You talked about him being Spurs as well. He lost on the edge of the area, has been lost, and a chance for Juve. And Cristiano Ronaldo's denied from close range, really good defences. You can see him laughing off a wry smile. It's very surprised he doesn't take that first time, even more surprised that the touch wasn't of the highest quality. Just allows Tottenham to come back. Jao Cancelo, oh, great vision from him. Juventus might be in here, and uh, Ronaldo with his first real sight of the game, and it was some way off target. Marcus Peters narrowed up on his centre half, but I'm not sure if he can give Ronaldo that amount of space. Three here that. for Spurs. Son, well laid off, and Buffon makes a fine save, and it's guided in by Eric Lamella. Not. To his dismay, it's Lamella to pass it into an empty net. Brilliant goal by Tottenham. Him and Matuidi. And it goes now for Ronaldo. Oh, and he just right of it. You see him now. He's normally so good. The Champions League finals. All league titles. That was high from Parrot. I think he's just trying to fit the ball. Cancelo has ducked down. Ronaldo points to where they need to run, but there was a deflection on the come course. back early. I think he's not seen for his way. A great ball into the middle by Ronaldo it's and in the box. Bernadeschi fires it at goal and really well held by Gazniga because that had fizz on it. Little no look pass into uh, Lucas Mora. Lucas Mora hits it! Not a million miles away from the Brazilian. Wonderful work from Lucas Moura. And it's just wide of that post. Szczesny looked in trouble. We know he's got that quality. Gets that ball in that 10 area and a half turn. Drives, shows his pace. But as soon as Juve back off, pulls the trigger. Pjanic, Iquain. Oh, well worked. Gonzalo Iquain buries it. Well, he is a true finisher. From Gonzalo Iquain playing for his future, perhaps, at Juventus. He scored three goals against Spurs in the Champions League. Good to see him back. Lamella deep, Kane jumps and just oh, wide. Bump into him, trying to disturb him. Benucci doesn't do that enough, and Kane should be hitting the target. Up against Walker Peters. Oh, good cut back, and it's deflected into the net. Well, we talked about getting certain positions, players in those areas, and the devastating effect that they will have. Ronaldo built now as a centre forward, and that is a brilliant centre forward's goal. Attacks that area, and now you're looking for the could do nothing as it flew in the other direction beyond Gazzini to win the ball in the Juve half. And what a pass for Lucas Moura! He's assisted the equaliser. Spurs are back level against Juventus. And does it brilliantly into the top corner. Great spot by the new signing and weight of pass. He's just charging at that Spurs back, uh, Juve back line. Kane onto his left foot. Harry Kane just drags it wide. He's had his chance. For Harry Kane's good quality. You have to work those feet quicker. For a big man, he's getting a little bit too low. <laughs> but nevertheless, I'd try and give an honest appraisal. And I thought he was excellent in terms of his hold up play. I can see him being a. There was an opportunity here. Kane, what has what? he just done? Incredible! Oh. What a goal to win it! Szczesny's caught out. Harry Szczesny Kane. Szczesny is in all sorts of trouble. It's the perfect strike. As soon as he hits it, he knows it's in.